All right, man, what is up? So, back again with another video. Um, I know you've seen the title. We're gonna talk about my car. Let's get some water real quick. We are gonna talk about my car, like monthly payments, insurance, all that good stuff. Pretty much, if you don't wanna know too much about the entire thing, car's 985, insurance is like 250. Bam, that's it. But I got a cool vlog, and I'll get more into details more into you. But first, dude, I need my keys. keys in. Uh, I've got to let the dog in real quick. But pretty much at Taco Cabana, they have um, pancakes today. And the pancakes are only, come on, Mike. That's our dog, Mike. But yeah, pretty much the pancakes at Taco Cabana today, they are like $2, man. And I don't like spending money on food, dude. I could just be super cheap or maybe y'all could agree that spending money on food is kind of dumb. I don't know. But um, yeah, we're gonna go hop in the SS real quick. Start that bad boy up. It's all good. I got an oil change yesterday. Uh, come on, Coco. You gotta go to your room. Go to the room, bro. Good girl. But yeah, uh, I'm talking too much. Let's go to Taco Cabana real quick. And uh, yeah, I'll just vlog once I get there. So yeah. Yeah, today feels so good outside. It's like not hot and stuff, which is cool because Texas is like always stupid hot. But let's start this bad boy, man. See what it's talking about today. Track mode, my apologies, dude. Let's cut that music down for we copy written or wrote and whatever you want to call it. Hey, y'all comment down below. How's our day going, dude? Is it a good day, a bad day over here in Texas? Uh, feeling pretty good today, man. It's, it's a nice day outside, but uh, yeah, pretty much more about my car, dude. Uh, I didn't think too many people cared, you know, about oh, how much does this guy pay for his car, blah blah blah. But I've gotten this comment like multiple times, like, hey, um, how much you pay for your car? How do you afford it? Blah, 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 this and that. And uh, pretty much to start off the question, dude, uh, if you're new to the channel, man, subscribe. I got a 2017 Camaro 2 SS uh, 50th edition. Pretty much that's the 2017 model. I think the Camaro stuff, like the first Camaro was like in 1957 think or 67 honestly not too sure i wasn't alive i don't remember too much but uh yeah 2017 camaro 2 2 ss up in this bad boy it's uh it's stupid fast it's like the bestest thing ever honestly dude but uh yeah when i got the car it was may i think it was may 5th or may 4th 2017 it was 2017 for sure uh pretty much got the car brand new and payments at first were 700 buckaroos 700 big ones so i was like well that's a lot and uh that was for like the highest whatever term it is the lighting be better if i close this is that better i hope y'all can it's probably better with this open actually i just want to make it so y'all can see me in the best way possible this be straight uh at first payments were 700 dollars a month well 6.99 pretty much 700 though you get what i'm saying and that was i think it was for an eight year finance plan whatever you call it blah 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 and i was like whoa that's a lot but then you know each year you pay interest but then uh later on down the road i refinanced the car so i refinanced the car payments went up from 700 to 985 which is a ton more you know but in the long run you pay more up front but think long term wise you're actually paying less because it's like less let's try to cut this brightness up hold on I want y'all to actually see me and like know what I'm talking about. Hopefully that's better. But yeah, pretty much you pay uh, more up front, but you're paying for a shorter amount of time. So actually in the long run, you're paying less interest. So uh, you're paying less for the car, like total, if you think about the big, big, big picture. But if you're thinking into small, like microscopic details, it does sound like it's more, but it's actually less. That's how much I pay for the car, 9.85. And I'll be done paying the car, I think it's in 2021, it should be, or 2022, I forgot. And uh, before I'd be done paying it, like in 2023, pretty much I'll uh, be done paying the car faster, which is always good, man. 
just to get this bad boy um done paying for and all that good stuff and then insurance that's uh 250 dollars a month which uh i don't know you kind of didn't need insurance wish you didn't have to pay it would be cool if you could like include insurance with a car payment car note whatever you call it but you don't so that's kind of a bummer but um somebody else asked like how do i make money to afford the car uh pretty if y'all don't know i got a job dude first get a job everybody has a job i feel like if not um because i work but then also on the side you know take pictures for people they need like video work for they got like starting up a local brand they want like a a promo video stuff like that they hit me up i do the video bam make money that way another way that i do make money is uh selling shoes man you would think, oh, who, why do you buy so much Yeezys? Why do you have all these shoes? It looks dumb when y'all see the background, but it's really like a fat, fat, stupid fat investment. Why well, you gotta be selective with the shoes and know which ones to get, which ones to skip on, which one, you know, just stuff like that. For example, right now, um, y'all seen the Obsidian UNCs? I did a video on those, maybe like, I forgot, it's been like a week or two. I like the shoe, but I'm kind of like saving money to like do more car mods and stuff. So I got enough shoes already. So when I got these shoes, uh, I was like, you know what? I wear a size nine and a half, nine, somewhere between there. I'll get them in an eight and a half just because at eight and a half, they sell for more. And on top of that, if I do like them in person, I'm not gonna be able to keep them because like I can't fit an eight and a half dude. So uh, yeah, I'm selling those right now. I haven't sold them yet. But you know, retailing those bad boys was like 172 and some change. I forgot the exact amount of uh, change it was. Oh, let me get in here. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, pretty much you can sell this shoe. I think I'll show y'all like a screenshot in a bit once I get to uh, Taco Cabana. Okay, let me get there real quick and I'll show y'all like a screenshot of like how much the shoes go for and whatnot. So yeah. And so let me uh, get back to these shoes, man. Show y'all how much these shoes go for. Pretty much, uh, let me lock the doors real quick. It could be weirdos around here or something. You never, never, never know. But yeah, pretty much, I bought uh, this shoe right here. The Jordan 1 UNC Obsidian, blah, blah, blah. Retail on these bad boys is like 160 after tax, 172 and some change, like I said. But uh, here's the cool part. So pretty much, uh, I got the shoes in an eight and a half, bam. They go for 409, that's the like the last pair that sold, right? sell i got them in eight and a half so let's click eight and a half oh supreme drop in 10 minutes i haven't really bought any supreme lately y'all i've really been like saving money because like back in 20 like 2016 17 it was like freshman year of college uh i was buying a stupid amount of supreme like a dumb amount like every single drop i'd get like at least something off of it a sweater uh what else did I get? A battery, a charger, in anything like I could get my hands on Supreme, I'd get it. I sold some, but for the most part, I had intentions of selling it. But then once I got it in hand, I'm like, dude, I don't smoke, but this lighter's fire, dude. And I just want to keep it as a collector's piece. Or I got that, some tennis balls, um, Supreme little cups, like tea cups. I drink tea, but like I'm in Texas, dude, we drink sweet tea over here. Cold sweet tea with a bunch of ice in it. But um, yeah, Supreme drops today, so I'm probably gonna try to buy something off that and just look what's um, actually worth buying to like make money off of. Anyway, back to the shoes, man. Like I said, I've been trying to say shoes, uh, 172 retail, and then look how much you get off of it. It says 409, but you know, Stock X, that's the app. They charge a transaction fee, which is like 40 bucks, uh, payment processing, which is like 13. So total end result you get 360 so that's like what a 200 dollar profit you spend 170 you get back uh 360 that's, that's a pretty good um profit in my eyes and that's just off one shoe just do this like multiple times you just gotta know like what shoes good and what shoes like not good just like keep yourself updated and stuff like that and uh yeah i sell shoes a bit or if I get my hands on some nice Supreme pieces and a nice hoodie or something that sells, I might do that. But uh, yeah, let me get these tacos real quick. Not these tacos, but these uh, pancakes, dude. These $2 pancakes. They had them on sale last time for like a buck. One buckaroo. And uh, yeah, they were fire. You get like two humongous pancakes. Like the, they're not super big. 
but they're like a decent size. I don't want you to get my coupon code, but yeah, two dollar pancakes, man. Uh, I'm gonna get these bad boys and I'll be back in a bit. So yeah, Yeehaw, I got the goods, dude. Man, also, so they got that coupon right, and you're supposed to scan it. The lady did a scan it. She was like, "Hey, I'm not gonna scan it if you want. You know, uh, come another day." I just saw this ruckus on my car. I need to start putting my car cover on. It's like a cat or a dog. We got these dumb chihuahuas outside, and so it's probably one of them. But yeah, she let me use the coupon. Well, she didn't scan it. She was like, "Hey, if you want to come later, uh, you could use the coupon again." So I was like, "Bet." That was super fire, super nice of her, but. Let's dig into these. Uh, to got the pancakes. I don't know if you seen the last clip, but the lady didn't scan my um the app, so I could use them. I could use the coupon later on down the road. Damn, I probably look stupid saying this, man, but um, look how big these are! What the world? What I was gonna say is that pancakes, or not just pancakes, but like food in general. I um I don't really spend too much money on food, so that's kind of. Oh, it comes with three. I thought it was two. What the world? Look at these bad boys, man. Woo! But uh, all these last ones burnt. That's why they gave me three, I think. So I'm done. It's okay. It's all good. I'm still going to eat it. But yeah, um, another thing to like afford my car is I don't really go out much. Like I hardly ever, ever go out. Like if you see me at a party, it's it's not me because I just don't go out at parties. It may, it may look like me, possibly, perhaps, but it's, it's not me just because I don't go out. Uh, like I said, I don't really spend money on food, but it's two dollar pancakes, dude. So like that, I I could do that, you know. I could two dollars. Come on now, but like as far as eating out daily, like every day, uh, nah, I, I just don't do that. What does suck? I'll show you. I, I paid. I filled up my tank yesterday. It was like on E, like completely E. Like, yeah, let me show you how much this bad boy was. But you know, it's expected with this type of car. You know, it's not like a. An electric car. Can y'all see that? I hope y'all can. Uh, 55 buckaroos to uh, fill up the tank. Just in case if you're wondering like how much it uh, costs. Really this video is for like the people who maybe want to get an SS down the road or maybe this year. Not even an SS exactly but like something in that type of tier. You know a scat pack, uh, a Mustang, one of them crowd killers or whatever man. But gas on this sucker it's um a lot, a lot. You can make it work, you know, just depending on like how you drive. Like I filled up yesterday and I've been driving pretty like, um, I haven't punched it too many times, but this, um, it was like a older, it was a Challenger SRT8. They pulled up on me yesterday and like tried to rev their car, smoked them. But um, yeah, other than that, I haven't been punching the car too many times, like hard acceleration. But yeah, you can see average fuel economy, 17 miles per gallon. Which, you know, that's not super duper duper good, like, to brag about. But, you know, considering it's like a small little sports car and a V8, like, 17 miles per gallon, that's, that's pretty decent, you know. I can't complain. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video, man. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Can you still see me? You see more of my six-pack. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, man. If you did, leave it a fat like. If it helped you in any type of way at all definitely uh like the video subscribe if you aren't any other questions or future videos you want to see anything of that sort man let me know but uh yeah stay tuned hella new content dropping soon man and uh i'll see you on the next video so yeah